Hello friends welcome to X Amitian Smriti Notes for Biotechnology In today's lecture we will study about extra nuclear inheritance with respect to mitochondria and chloroplast Extra nuclear inheritance or cytoplasmic inheritance means transmission of genes that occur outside the nucleus or we can say when the trait was transmitted from the parent to offspring through non chromosomal cytoplasmic means cytoplasmic factors of extra nuclear inheritance are such as mitochondria and chloroplast now let us start with extra nuclear inheritance in mitochondria mitochondria are organelles which function to perform energy as a result of cellular respiration in plants their size is generally 140 to 548 base pairs and they are heterozygous circular linear dnas next is chloroplast genome the diagram is shown the chloroplast are organelles which function to produce sugar via photosynthesis in plants and algae most of the chloroplast dna are single copy of dna and the repeated form of dna is present in the chloroplast i have mentioned several points for chloroplast inheritance you can use them they are homozygous circular and single dna i have given in tabular forms the difference between both the inheritance that is mitochondria as well as chloroplast genome you can use the points and write it in tabular form as well about the extra nuclear inheritance in mitochondria and chloroplast main difference is about the size do not forget to write it in mitochondria the size is of 140 to 548 base pairs whereas in chloroplast it is 85 to 150 kilo base pairs the corn has 20 to 40 chloroplast per cell with each chloroplast having 20 to 40 chromosome that is they make 15% of the dna now we will study about types of extra nuclear inheritance that is maternal and extra nuclear inheritance maternal inheritance means that the dna contained in mitochondria or chloroplast determines the phenotype of the offspring and the mutation or disorders are passed from the mother never from the father to their children and some of its example are shell coiling in snail and variegation in leaf of four o'clock plants that is marabellus jalapa i'll show you the cross if needed you can use this cross and draw in your diagram explaining it this is the example of maternal inheritance next example is four o'clock plant that is mirabilis jalapa this was corin's experiment and he worked with three types that were pure green pure white and variegated that is molded green and white type corin carried out a number of crosses between the plants of different colors and found the observations like the color of the egg cell donating branch determined the color of the offspring female plant branches were pure green or pure white and female plant branches were that were variegated could produced all three types of offspring i have drawn the diagram which shows like over many cell divisions some cells ended up with pure green set of normal chloroplast making green patches others will get pure set of non functional chloroplast making white patches and others will have a mix of normal and non functional chloroplast that produced green patches and gave rise to pure green or pure white sector I have given the entire explanation with the diagram as well. You can use the diagram and then study the explanation. It will help you in better understanding. Again, I have summed up the entire process in one page, which shows the three types of result which gave, and then it tells that this type of inheritance is governed by chloroplast. So, Mirabellus jalapa is an example of chloroplast inheritance. Now, next type. of inheritance is extra nuclear inheritance by endosymbiotins 
Certain intracellular parasites such as bacteria and virus particle maintain symbiotic relationship. They are self-reproducing and look like cytoplasmic inclusions. Such a relationship is called as endosymbiotic hypothesis and the example of this kappa particle in paramecium. I have given two crosses. You can use either of them to draw and explain them whichever is clear to you. If you find any problem, just comment and let me know. I'll link in the PDF so that you can get a better version of it. So we studied extra nuclear inheritance with two types that is mitochondria and chloroplast, which is basically of two types that is extra nuclear and maternal type. Now the last topic is horizontal gene transfer, which basically means transfer of genetic bit material between unrelated individuals and for this a natural mechanism is there that is transformation conjugation and transduction we have studied this topic under bacterial genetics also i'll share the link below you can go through it in which we studied about conjugation and transduction process in detail under lytic and lambda phage life cycles so let us start the first step is transformation basically the prokaryotes take up the free fragment dna in the form of plasmids then conjugation that means the genetic material gets exchanged during temporary union between the two cells as shown in the diagram and the last step that is transduction that means the dna is transmitted from one cell to the under the via the bacteria phage this is the diagram you can go through it and the very common example is we humans where gene transfer of viral DNA by human papillinovirus causes cervical cancer in human host. I hope the extra nuclear inheritance topic is clear and do not think that anything which I have shared in my notes is out of the syllabus. Every example is necessary. They do ask in the paper. So do go through it. For any other doubts, do comment and let me know. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.